Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the dimension tool, the specific dimension tool. It's here in the annotation, annotation tab here. If we click the small triangle, we are going to see all the dimension tool, all the individual dimension tool. For the line, for the linear, aligned, and for the angle, and for the arc, arc length, arc radius. Also for the diameter of the circle. You can also use the dimension tool to, to add the alternate. Also put a jogged dimension. So with that said, let's begin. I already made some drawing. Okay, I made some drawing. So we are going to use the dimension tool to dimension all of them. So let's do it uh, one by one. So before doing that, you may change, you may change your workspace. Make sure that you can see the, you can see the minor grid and you can see the major grid. You can use, you can push the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom a little bit. You may also want to see, want to check the snap setting for the grid, the grid spacing for x and y, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the major line amplifier. You may also want to make sure that you select the object snap here to activate it. Make sure that you select the end point, midpoint center, geometric center, and perpendicular, this will help. And during the drawing, you may want to activate, activate the, the, the grid snap, grid snap. So let's use the pen tool, move down a little bit, move down a little bit. Okay, switch on the grid snap. Let's draw a line, draw a line here. Draw line here, draw line here, use the dimension to linear, linear, to dimension it. Linear, I'm going to start from the one end, end at the end, and drag a little bit. Now I see the dimension, I see the dimension here. And also draw another line. This is a different direction instead of a horizontal direction. Use the line to draw it here. I want to draw it here. Okay, use the dimension to align. This time I'm going to use align. From here to here and to here. Let's try if I don't use a line, what we are going to see. Let's use linear from here to here. It's going to be this way, going to be this way. So we see that a line and linear are different. Linear is usually for the perpendicular. You can also drag this way, drag to left way and move down, drag to the bottom, you need to have the perpendicular direction or the vertical direction. So this is the difference between the, between the linear and the line. If we use the linear, let's do it again. And I can put it this way. So I get the, I get the lines actually along the one direction. It's not quite the lines for the for the line. So let's draw a uh, angle. This is for the normal angle. Usually we need to activate the awesome mode here. Activate it and use the line to draw it. Let's click it. Now I have a normal angle. So let's use the angle two. Angle two. Angle to here. This is the angle to. 
Look at the command window. We need to select the line. First line and the second line. Now I have the angle. I can put the annotation here, put the text here, like this way. If I also do it this way, right? This way. And uh, here's another, another, another angle, but a different angle. So let's draw it. I draw it this way. I want to switch off the also mode here. So I'm going to go in here. And to draw it here. Now I have a small angle. Okay, I want to dimension it. Same two, same two angle. So I see like the first line and see like the second line. Let's switch over the grid snap. Okay, hold angle 22. So sometimes I need to dim dimension the supplemental angle. So we do the same way. First line, second line. But we're going to put the the label, put the put the dimension outside. Outside. If we put it here, it's going to be supplemental. If we put it here, the inside. So this is the angle. You would put it here outside. So the second, let's move a little bit. Use the pen tool. And we have the angle. Is the dimension for the angle? Dimension for the lens. No, this is a, sorry, this is the arc. This is the dimension for the length of the arc. This is the dimension for the radius of the arc. Let's do it. Use the arc tool. Let's do arc here. And the dimension for the arc, arc length, arc length. Activate, and we're going to hit the arc. Now we can drag, drag, do, drag. Drop below or drop above. You will decide where you put your your annotation annotation to the label here. Here. So here is another another angle. So I'm going to draw draw arc. I just want to draw it here. Draw it here. So I use the another tool. This is radius for the arc. Click it. Now select the arc. Now I can move it this way and move this way, right? So usually I would like to put put the inside here, put the inside here. So this is going to be the radius. Let's, okay, let's move up a little bit with the pen tool. Exit. Now I'm going to dimension the circle. The circle we can dimension the radius and the diameter. Use the circle to draw a circle. And uh, if I want to dimension the radius, radius for the circle, I may want to use the, the arc too, because the circle is a special case for the arc. Dimension, okay. I can do it this way or do it this way. This way is okay. The outside. Let's do another circle. Put here. I want to dimension like this way. This is the diameter. So diameter is here. Diameter. Right. And I'm going to have the diameter here. Okay, let's move on. Oh, use the pen to move a little bit and exit. I have a rectangle and I have a pentagon but this time I'm going to dimension I'm going to label annotation using the annotation to put the coordinate coordinates x coordinates and y coordinates let's do it I'm going to use the rectangle to draw a rectangle now I want to label I want to label the the, the the center, geometric center, the coordinate of the rectangle. Make sure that uh, you activate the object snap. You should show, select the geometric center. 
and uh, let's go to the dimension to here. This is coordinate. Notice that x is on the top, y is on the right. So activate. So right now here, here is the center. It's going to show up automatically because I select object snap. So here is the click here. I move to this direction. If I move, I can also select the x data. X data, you see it will automatically move to x direction. There. And uh, do it again. Select the center and select y. If you move to y, you see it's going to show y code. If you move to x direction, you move, move, uh, move to bottom, you're going to have the x x x ordinate so i want to put, select select one y is going to be here going to be here okay let's draw draw pentagon and uh, label the coordinate for the center so use the polygon to here polygon to here and uh, then i want to draw it here Look at the command window, I need to specify the number of the size, 5 and the 5, and specify the center of the well, center, I want to decide it here. And uh, we may want to decide the circle, right? Where we put the circle? We can put the inside, then we need to use the inscript. If we want to put outside, we may need to use the circumscribe. Say I want to select this one. Put it inside. Here. Okay, I have the pentagon. Now I want to label the ordinates. Select it, select the center, and then I want to move one direction, one direction label x and activate it coordinate at the center move to x direction x direction is for y okay so let's move up so this time we're going to draw the arc but to use the jog use the jog to dimension Jog, jog the dimension. So drop arc to the arc, and uh, here we use the jog the type of the dimension. The jog, and then look at the command window specify central location over right. I need to sleep, and I need to specify it here. I put it here. Then I can move to the jog location. Right, move it here, here, or here. I want to move it here. So we can do another one, another arc, and use the jog, jog dimension. Click it. This time I'm going to put on the left here, and put it here, and move the jog location. Put it here. here. Okay, this is what we learn. What we learn, we learned the dimension to individual dimension to all of them are here, including the ordinate and the geo. Thank you very much for your watching.